Welcome to 5 and 5 from the One Stop Co-op Shop, where I discuss five key elements of a game in about five minutes. I'm Michael Kelly, and today I'm looking at the solo and cooperative modes in Hoplomachus Remastered from Chip Theory Games. And a disclaimer that I was sent a review copy of this one. I love most stuff from Chip Theory, and Hoplomachus Victorum from last year was one of my favorites. Does Remastered rise at the same level? Let's find out and get to the list. <laughs> So first, my number five point, which is a bit of a mix for my taste, is the faction variety in Hoplobacus Remastered. So there are seven different factions in the game, which is a really high number, gives you a lot of things to play around with. And each faction has a unique champion, three unique units, one unique tactic. So that's on the positive side, but on the negative side, and you can probably see this from looking at the screen right now, there's also a lot of repeat. Each faction has three out of their six common units being generic units that pretty much everybody gets, and three out of their four tactics also being generic ones. So it does limit the variety of the factions a bit. Now, two things to call out, though. This does make the game easier to teach and learn because the keywords are shared between a lot of the units. And also, if you get Halfamachus Victorum, you can trade in units to make the factions pretty much entirely unique unto themselves. Although, of course, then you're talking about spending like $300. So that might be a lot to uh, kick the faction variety up to its fullest extent. My next point, number four, is also a mix for me, and that's the dice luck in the game. So you are rolling a lot of dice, a lot of dice in this game, just tons of little combats every round. But honestly, this part, the combat luck is a pro for me because it gives the game the variety and tension that I love and the probabilities of each color die and how often it'll hit are very clear. So you have like the exact idea of how much damage you're likely to do. Now, where I do not like the dice luck and I find it way too swingy is in one of the two solo co-op modes, the Ascension mode with these Titan bosses because they use the dice to determine what they're going to do for the turn. And the consequences for rolling a lot of blanks means they basically do nothing and can make the game way too easy. And then on the other hand, when they get lucky and roll like their best results, like a whole bunch of results or like sixes on a D6, can make them do ridiculous things to totally like destroy your entire team. Now, for my number three point, I'm focusing on one of the two solo co-op modes. I just mentioned Ascension a second ago, but this one is the Onslaught mode, and this is a full pro for me. So this mode is basically an endurance survival mode. You're going against one of these six immortals at a time, and they're bringing out extra minions to face off against. And you have your forces dwindling. You're losing your units. You're using up your tactics. And the immortals have the interesting thing that you can't hurt them themselves directly, but they bring out minions. And if you kill the minions, you hurt them. And if you can hold these sort of king of the hillish spots, that does damage to them as well. But when you do attack the immortal, the mini boss, even though you're causing no damage, you move up this crowd favor track. Uh, you can get your tactics back. You can unlock an additional champion, bring back units from the dead. And yeah, just in short, this mode is awesome. Uh, the AI is really clean in how it activates. The immortals have some nice variety in kind of the ways you want to tackle them. But the best thing for me, and this kind of goes back to why I loved Hoplomachus Victorum last year, is the squad and the resource management. You know, like which units do you want to keep alive? Which units do you want to put in danger? And yeah, I just think this mode is awesome. If you're going to get solo co-op, this is the way to play. The Onslaught mode friggin' great. But getting to my number two, for every light, there has to be some darkness, right? And uh, yeah, the ascension mode. At least for my taste and at least for my plays, maybe I just had some bad luck. This is a full con for me. You're facing off against these titans, and I already mentioned they have a lot of swinginess in their activation. I've had games where like the boss didn't do a single thing for like two or three turns, or where they just like rolled all the best stuff and completely demolished us. So already I don't like the uh, luck element in this one. Also, both modes, the previously mentioned Onslaught and Ascension, do have co-op play for two players. But whereas in Onslaught, I think it works really well, I found that in Ascension, um, too often being able to spawn double the units kind of unbalanced the Titans because you would be able to get too many units out before they could respond. So it led to some, again, like swingy, unbalanced games, which weren't as fun. And then I played most of the Titans. I won't say that I played all of them. And a bunch of them are way too easy. A bunch of them have like really, really obvious uh, strategies. So like go watch my uh, playthrough against Ixchel. Uh, I don't see why you would ever not play the way I did, just uh, staying on the outskirts where she can't affect you and just killing off her minions one by one. It's like super obvious to do it that way. And then you can just totally overwhelm her. But hey, all that being said, my number one full on pro, 
Hoplomachus combat is awesome. Tactical movement, the uh, tense dice battling that I already mentioned, the use of your tactics chips to pull off uh, cool maneuvers and things, the combos of your units, and those are amped up in uh, co-op with the Onslaught mode where you can like combo together different things from different factions. It is just great. I love the choice in the original Hoplo. It's even better in Victorum and here in Remastered. If you like tactical skirmish games, I think you're going to like this one for competitive and again for solo co-op, especially for the Onslaught mode. So overall, you might want to check out Hoplomachus Remastered if you like competitive tactical skirmish games, or if you like uh, solo modes with some kind of like resource management, sort of like survival style, because I think, again, the Immortals mode is the best way to play here. But on the other hand, you might want to avoid this one if you don't like dice luck, if you want everything to feel fully polished, because again, I think the Titans mode is not quite working as well as I'd like. And also, if you're looking for purely a solo experience, I think Victorum is the better way to go for that one here. But if you'd like to see the game in action, I filmed a playthrough for both solo co-op modes. Check them out. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.